Welcome to a locker coin deposit lock. I believe you all know how these kind of locks work. They are usually mounted on the little doors of lockers, for example in the gym. And without a coin inserted, you are not able to turn the key or to uh, lock this lock up and to remove the key. Um, but now when you insert the coin, the coin does something uh, magical inside this lock and now you can turn the key to the full extent. The door can be locked up and the key can be removed. Now when you are done with the sport, you insert the key again, you turn it, open the lock and the coin will return. Yeah, in this video we will pick the dimple lock, we will find a method to be able to lock this lock up even without using a coin and I will uh, open it up and we will inspect the details so that we can understand what's going on and how it works. Alright, so here's the lock clamped in the vise. Currently it cannot be locked up because the coin is not inserted, so let's put it in. Now we can lock up the lock and remove the key. Yeah, it's a dimple lock with a pretty good warning. And here is the key with six cuts on it and two additional uh, dimples for key control. For tensioning I use a L tension wrench that I put in the right side of the keyway. It just fits perfectly there and gives me the, um, the right guide here for my pick to reach up the, the pins. Yeah, initially I used light tension and tried to make a fine single pin picking but it took me quite a while to get it open maybe five or uh, maybe ten minutes, I don't know. But then I realized with heavy tension it's much easier. So let's go with heavy tension um, and just wedge in the pick. You have to go all the way in because there is this, oh it's already open, um, there is this piece here on the on the front so you need to take, in, take into account this extra space. So you have to go really deep inside with your pick. So this is just long enough, but not much too long, um, to reach the, the last pin. Yeah, now it's picked already. So with heavy tension it's pretty easy and open. Yeah, so that was the picking part. Um, probably I will take this core apart when I'm gutting the, the lock, but now let's move on to something more interesting. How can we um, avoid using a coin for locking this lock up? Now, what could be the trick to get this lock locked up even without using a coin? Well, um, it's not an easy undertaking to uh, find out, because this lock is really well thought out. First of all, when you turn the key, you can see that the slot here on the top gets blocked. So you cannot manipulate the internals, for example, with a pick while turning the key because yeah, it's really tight, so it's you cannot move it. It's a 15,000th pick and there is no chance in uh, poking around and doing something with the internals. Same thing here uh, at the bottom where the coin comes out, it's also blocked. Even worse, you have to remember that the whole device here is inside the locker box. So you, even if you could manipulate the internals, you cannot because you cannot have your hands inside this box when the door is closed. So we have to install something that stays in there when the, the uh, door is closed. And I can tell you, the internals work in a way that when the, uh, the coin is inserted uh, and if you turn it, there is a lever that's lifted by the diameter of the coin. And this lever could be uh, pulled by a pick from the top, but as I said, it's not possible. But it can also be pushed from the bottom and therefore I use this plastic stripe. So let's see if I can find the sweet spot. It's 
somewhere around here. Now you can hear it. And now I can install it here and it stays there pretty nicely. Now I can put in all my belongings, close the door and log it up. Very, very nice. <laughs> I can remove the key, go to my um, training, do my gym, gymnastic, and then I come back and um, open it up. Now ah, you can see it has stayed in place, so I can try to repeat this. Yep. Now the mechanism is permanently disabled. Ah. Now the plastic stripe um, <laughs> is out and yeah, it's the same situation as before, but you've seen it's um, very, very easy actually if you, uh, yeah, if you have the right idea and if you know about the internals. Um, the fact that this is blocked is um, not too, too bad because this thin plastic stripe um, can stay in there. This, this plastic cover might be bent a little bit, but that's okay. So this works pretty nicely, I have to say. Yeah, so much for manipulation. Now I'm going to take this apart and show you what's inside and how it works. Yeah, that's how it looks inside. I've unscrewed four screws that held the back plate in place and I've taken off the slot where the coin gets inserted and the tray from the bottom where the coin gets caught when it returns. So when we look at the plate where the core is attached to it, we can see the shape of the end of this plug and now it turns. And this shape fits into the cutout of the wheel. This wheel has a pin on the other side that sits in the vertical groove on the bolt. And when I turn the wheel, we can see the wheel will, tr will travel to the left, but because of the plug to be stationary, the wheel will not move to the left, but instead the bolt will move to the right. So let's get this out for better demonstration. Um, yeah, the bolt will move to the right, but it stops here because of the lever. So here we have a spring-loaded lever. That's one of these fences here. It just came out a little bit. Yeah, this is a spring-loaded lever. And when the bolt moves to the right, you can see how it blocks further movement. And that's where the plastic stripes come. Plastic stripe comes into play. I will attach this later on. Um, if we find the right spot, probably a, a wider stripe would be better. So now we can see how it lifts the lever. And now when the bolt moves to the right. We can move it all the way to the right to lock up the door. That's how manipulation works. But how does the coin do the trick? Let's put it in and see how it works. Gravity puts it to the right place. And now when I move the bolt to the right, you can see how the width of the coin automatically lifts the lever. And so the bolt can move all the way to the right. But hey, the coin doesn't come out again. Huh. How does this work? Well, we are missing something. So we are missing this piece here. It sticks out from the back of the plate and sits around here. Now when I move the bolt to the right, at some point this uh, piece that sticks out would then stop the movement of this piece here and while the bolt moves further to the right, this here moves to the left and makes enough room free for the coin to fall down. But because of the fence blocking the slot on the bottom, the, the coin is still held in place and only when the bolt returns and makes free the slot on the bottom, the coin will return. Yeah, these, these fences work in a 
following way we have okay, take out one we have these these pieces here of metal with with a path uh, inserted or engraved or cut and there are two corresponding pins now when the bolt moves to the right these pins write in the path and force the, the piece here to, to drop down. So that's how the fences work on the top and also on the bottom. Yeah, now you have seen basically everything that is related to this mechanism. There is one more last thing that I want to show you and it's this piece here. It's a little plastic lever. And I think that's an emergency um, escape mechanism for the um, for the coin. So if the coin is inserted, it won't come out because there is not enough room. So this needs to be pushed away so that the coin could drop down. Um, and if something is wrong with the lock, um, we need to have a, um, a mechanism to, to trigger this. And that's what this, this plastic lever is good for. So now when I lift this lever here you can see how it moves this piece here to the left and makes enough room for the coin to uh, come down and as the bolt is uh, currently at the yeah, rest um, place it's not moved to the right it's inside the housing there is also uh, nothing blocking the the slot on the on the bottom and so the coin can escape. Yeah, that's basically everything I have for you. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. I was really curious to see how a mechanism like this works, so I bought this uh, lock for my pleasure. Yeah, as I said, hope you found this interesting and enjoyable. Thanks for watching, happy picking and bye-bye!